Here is fan number two from the estate sale that I went to this weekend. This is a Lakewood model 200 from 1995. Third generation Lakewood, I believe. and closed feet. This one is missing the feet, but other than that, it's pretty near mint condition. Very good, anyway. A couple of little scratches on it here and there. A little dimple there, which really is probably not that uncommon to pull one out of the box like that. A little scuff here. clean. Fan has been cleaned and serviced, but it was already pretty clean. I think this is probably a pretty low hours fan. Maybe only used for one season, if that. It has the McMillan motor. I did not split and clean the motor. There is no dust in there. All I did was put some oil in the oil ports, put a drop or two in the front and rear side of the motor shaft. That was it. As I said, no feet. Uh, the other issue though there was one thing wrong with the fan. The handle was broken. That's not the original handle. I just happened to have an extra one laying around somewhere. This is the original handle that was on this fan. You can see one tab was broken, so you go to pick it up and the handle was barely hanging on anymore but I just happen to have this one and uh, yeah it's identical good as new there's a sticker on here I don't know if we'll be able to see the date code hopefully I can get it liquid engineering was 2.1 amps and the date March 95 it's got a gray cord Polarized plug. Go ahead and get it plugged in and uh, we'll run the fan. Start it on high speed.
piece comes out stronger at an angle than it does straight out of the fan. Which is good, I guess. It has kind of a wide wind stream. Runs pretty fast, too. I want to go back up to high speed one more time. It has kind of a... It's almost like a buzz sound. It sounds different from the 223 model from the 80s. to the older liquid models it doesn't really have the base probably because of the blade design it's a lighter blade and a much more narrow cabinet pretty thin cabinet Tames down pretty good, quite a bit on low speed, coming from the medium and high, which are pretty intense. The low speed, it's it still still seems like it's running pretty fast, even for low. It's it's just the noise cuts down quite a bit, but it's definitely it's still putting out quite a bit of air. It runs a little faster than kind of like for a low speed. But at least it's a lot quieter than the medium and high. I don't know if we looked at the stamp information. There's a stamp on the bottom. do this while I'm thinking of it otherwise I will forget well, 200 this says 2.1 2.1 amps on the stamp also and that's about it seems to be in pretty good balance. There's uh, really not much vibration. Just from the sound, I mean, just kind of listen to that, that buzz sound. That's kind of what I'm feeling here in the cabinet, but it's not like a not like a vibration that you would get from the blade being out of balance. just a vibration from the sound itself. Pretty decent though. It's not a bad fan at all. Uh, very good condition also. It's a medium.
Not the greatest spin down, but it's going to take a while for that oil to soak in there. I would expect that to get better just running the fan for a while. Yeah, I'll plan on using this one too. This is a pretty decent fan. Glad I kept that extra handle too. That really came in handy. Yeah, cabinet paint's in really good shape. The label, pretty well perfect. There's really no rust or anything inside the cabinet. Awesome. Hard to find these in this good a condition. These fans are still around though. Definitely still around. You can still find them here and there. It's really nice to find one in good condition though. Lakewood 200 from 1995. Thanks for watching.